This is an interesting car. Uh, the owner just uh, got it not too long ago. And uh, this color, I believe to be, looking at the color charts, uh, a coral. It's kind of a, an unusual color. And uh, they call it Caribbean coral in the color chips. It's a six-cylinder Continental engine, which all Kaisers uh, had. Pull type door handles. Styling is by Darren. That was really one of the best things that uh, the Kaiser Fraser did. Was employ uh, Darren to uh, style their cars. And uh, notice the steering wheel. I'm going to point that out in a minute. This car has overdrive. See the overdrive handle there? It also was available with Hydromatic. It was the first year that that was available in Kaiser. Now notice the steering wheel. This is a common fault of uh, steering wheels of the time. The plastic literally cracked, uh, developed many cracks in this case. I told the owner that uh, Kaiser Fraser Owners Group uh, years ago uh, had a, a uh, service where they sent steering wheels out to be redone. I don't know whether they're still doing that or not, and I told them about that, so you may check that out. <laughs> Here's a youngster that figured out how to open the door under the uh, uh, permission, with the permission of the owner there. <laughs> uh, Cars like this are a great uh, attraction to kids, uh, especially kids that have an interest in uh, automobiles. And this, of course, uh, car is very seldom seen. There are the small taillights. The following year, the taillights got much bigger, and they remained that way in, through 1955. And uh, here's the... Uh, the handle essentially for the deck lid. Big bumpers. The styling of this car was way ahead of its time. Had a padded dash as uh, you see here. One glaring thing is that emergency brake to the right of the steering column. Of course, when that's pulled out, that uh, really gets into the passenger compartment. Divided windshield. Notice the Darren dip there in the middle. Darren dip in the back window also. And then in a minute, we'll see the car's engine compartment. Here it is. Six cylinder, flathead. Continental made the engine for the car, as they did for many cars back in the era. Notice the wiring. Now you're going to see an, a junction box area, which is the way they made connections uh, back in the day. Oil bath air cleaner. And it looks like a routing to, to the heater core there. And here we have the wire. The uh, It's not plasticized. It's uh, wrapped in, uh, I don't know whether that's cotton or what it is, wrapping material. And that's how connections are made by uh, those terminals.